This is a short video for children of all ages about energy and how you can use it. Hi, I'm here to talk to you a little bit about energy. Not only your energy, but how with practice, you will be able to learn how you can affect someone else's energy and maybe even make them feel better. We've learned that the universe is filled with fields of energy. These fields of energy are all interconnected. That energy is everywhere and it is in everything. So that means all of us here today our energy. Everything in this room is energy. The lake that we see outside, the trees, all of it is energy interconnecting with each other all of the time. And our energy wants to be balanced. If we're sick, if we're feeling strong emotions, if we are angry, our energy will feel different compared to when we're balanced and we are feeling healthy. The energy around our body, which extends out quite a ways, is called an, our auric field or our energy body. And oftentimes, what we can feel in our energy body reflects what we're feeling internally as well. We can feel sometimes from a friend or a family member if something's going on with them. Imagine walking up to one of your friends, this has probably happened to you at one time or another, and you walk up to them, you don't even see their face. But you can tell right away they're angry or they're ecstatically happy. Something is out of the normal. Or if you walk into a room and there's already a group of people in there, that group of people may have been in there for a while and you don't know what you're coming into. Your first reaction may be to step back. I don't want to be in this room right now. This feels like really heavy energy. Or you may observe a friend walking towards you over from across the street, and if you really tune in, you can pick up what's going on with them just by how they're walking, what their demeanor is. So with practice, these things all become easier. Now let's practice feeling some energy. I'd like to invite you to think about your tree roots grounding, breathing in, down through your roots, down into the earth, and then breathing back up into your heart and up into the sky. And now, put your hands in front of you about 12 inches apart and just notice what you might feel there on your hands. Bring your hands in, bring them back out. What kind of sensations are you experiencing? What do you feel on your fingertips? What do you feel on your palms? How does it change when you move your hands back and forth? Now let's see if we can make a change in what you feel. Let's rub our hands together briskly. This is going to be fun. And again, hands out and notice if it's any different. Has it decreased? Has it increased? What happens when you bring your hands closer together? Do you feel pressure? Does it feel empty? Just things for you to ponder. Now, turn to the person who's next to you. Hold your hands up to them and just bring your hands about 12 inches apart. Notice if their energy feels different than yours. What do you feel on your hands? What do you feel from their hands? You're feeling energy. And you know that they can measure that energy from our hands also? There's three different ways that that can be um, delineated. You can feel the heat from someone's hands and thermodynamically they can record that heat coming off of someone's hands who's sending energy. They can also take special photography, and that special photography will show the heat in different colors from a person's hands. And they can measure it, the electromagnetic fields. 
and the vibrations from those electromagnetic fields. So this is scientifically something that can be documented. Now let's learn one way that we can help someone who's maybe not feeling their best self and can be, we can teach them how to be more centered in their energy. I'm gonna ask you to pair up with the person next to you. One person will be the receiver and they will face the, the um, giver. The giver will face forward because all of the givers want to be able to watch what we're doing up here. We're going to do this in unison. So we will be stroking like this from head to toes. And I'm going to talk you through it as you do it. So again, think about that energy, sinking your tree roots down, and then let's start. Hands facing your partner about six inches from their body. Move closer, please. And one, head to shoulders, two, shoulders to tummy, three, hips down to the knees, four, knees down to the ankles, and five at the feet. Now I'm gonna ask my patient to turn to the side and we'll do it again. One to the shoulders, two to the elbows, three to the hip, four to the knees, and five to the feet. And now if you'll turn one more time so your back faces your partner, and one, two to the mid-back, three to the hips, four to the knees, and five to the ankles. And we have one more side, hands above their heads, one, two, three, four, and five. And now just notice how you feel. Keep in mind that you can do this for someone anytime and actually any place. All you have to do is set an intention. So if you encounter someone who is having an emotional upset, if they are sad, if they're in pain, what should you do? First, think of your tree roots grounding again, dropping those roots down into the earth, then tune into the person and then begin that energy brushing, doing those nice even strokes, head to toe, all the way around the person, keeping in mind that you will be the one who decides how many times you need to work around that person until you feel that you have brought about change. And remember, we all matter, and we all can make a difference. We just have to tune in to what we're feeling and what we see. Thank you.